All right, shalom to the nation of Israel and to the hopeful elect. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rechak, Wadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Ba'ashem means in the name. And Yahushai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, we want to give double honors to our elders and our elder apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and all down. Peace and blessings to your brothers and to you, Akim, that's out there pushing this truth. All right, we're the brothers of uh, Great Millstone Camp out of the Moons. I will coming back at you with another um, video through the Holy Spirit. And um, and uh, we're just going to be going into uh, uh, patience, you know, just having patience. You know, if you want to uh, go ahead and grab that precept. Yeah, Sean, this is uh, the book of Sirach. So, like, this is Sirach. Chapter 39 and verse 33. It says, All the works of the Lord Yahweh are good, and he will give every needful thing in due season. That's right, man. Hey, the Lord will give every needful thing in due season. Okay? So that's why uh, it's an importance just to have patience. You know, things might not be going your way at a, at a certain point. You know, you might be needing something, uh, materialistic things or uh, spiritual things, uh, anything, you know, hey, but it, but the Lord will give it in due season when the time is needed. You know, I have a, a, just a quick testimony. Uh, I, I didn't have any uh, money planned for this week or, or set up for the week, you know, and I was uh, making haste. You know, I was uh, making making a little haste. You know, I was uh, wondering and. Uh, thinking about when, where I was going to get some money and stuff like that. And um, it just uh, just so happened the Lord uh, uh, put the spirit on one of my managers to uh, get a couple of um, checks that I had just just saved up, you know, and uh, just it just happened to where I'm where I'm able to have some money for the weekend, you know. So hey, the Lord uh, just made just made it. Uh, he just made it happen, you know, and, and due season, you know, just uh, it was like right on time, man, you know. So the Lord does uh, miraculous uh, 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 miracles, man. You know, but uh, you can grab that word actually, and uh, if you want to, or if you had a precept. Yeah, I had a, I had a quick precept, man. Kind of, kind of. Hey, because um, it reminds me. Uh, hey, well, just like the brother said, there's certain times when you're in predicament, certain situations, or hey, even certain people doing you wrong, right? Mm -hmm. And it seems like they're triumphing. It seems like they're prevailing, right? Ultimately, we. Uh, we can read and understand that you know it's it's their time to have this right. It says that um, man, uh, yeah, I, I went into it with your call, right? It says that the triumph thing of the wicked is short and but for a moment. There's another one that says uh, in Psalms, right? It was a Psalm of Asaph. He said, "I was envious when I saw the prosperity of the wicked, but then I came into the house of the Lord." When you read later on, it says, "I came into the house of the Lord and I understood therein. Surely thou didst set them in slippery slopes," you know. So, hey, uh, at times, these things happen, man. And it's all it's all planned. It's all orchestrated by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh. Matter of fact, I'll grab that real quick uh, in Romans. Right? This is Romans chapter 8. This is Romans chapter 8 and 28, right? Yup, Romans 8 and 28. It says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love Yahweh, to them who are called who are the called according to his purpose mm -hmm. okay so we understand ultimately that everything honestly everything works in our favor man <laughs> even when it seems like things are against us you know the chips are stacked up against us yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the world against us <laughs> right but it's all for the bettering for those that are called for the elect you know, mm -hmm. and Lord willing, we hope and pray to be a part of that number. But if, if we are those men, those women, those children that are predestined for salvation, then every single thing, trial, tribulation we go through is to build us up and make us better. Mm -hmm. Okay. So from that, I want to jump back. Hey, because uh, there's a saying in Spanish. It's called, uh, uh, they, they say, hay un Dios que todo lo ve, which means that there is a God in heaven that sees all, you know, and, and that's exactly, that's exactly right. All right, because the Lord sees everything that we're going through, yep. you know, and um, and, I, and, and it made, just made me think of the precept in uh, the uh, second edge of 16. You know, I, I always quote it a lot because it's like the the Lord is our God. Like the Lord is is, is with us uh, 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 at every moment, you know, and like the brother, like the brother mentioned, like the Lord sees everything that we're going through. So the Lord is not going to uh, uh, let us just go through it. You know, it, it's for a particular purpose. 
you know but even within within us going through certain things what it says in that Sirach, Sirach 2 it says uh yeah, uh, no, yeah, I was gonna get, I was oh, gonna con, get that later. Con. Hey, con. Con, that, yeah, that's the spirit, though. That's the spirit, man. Yep. You know, hey, exactly, because you have motherfuckers in this world they attribute it to karma Bro. or the universe. No, it's yeah. How about Sham shy? Right. This is Galatians chapter six and verse seven. Be not deceived. Yeah, how about Sham shy is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Right. So it's not karma. It's not the universe bringing mm -hmm. things back around, right? It's the Lord that sees all things that, that hey, there's a just recompense for everything. Mm -hmm. he, and, and sometimes it takes a little while, right? Mm -hmm. It says, um, uh, man. You know how it's worded. Okay, be, because a sentence against judgment is not mm -hmm. executed speedily. Therefore, it's set in the hearts of men uh, to do evil. Yep. You know, so here you have it. People think that they're getting one up on you. They think that they're getting away with certain things or whatever. Hey, there is a recompense. <laughs> but what it what what is our obligation, our duty to do? Trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. right? So it says, for he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. And let us not be weary in well doing, right? Well doing, not recompensing evil for evil, but doing well. <laughs> Right, enduring, going through the things. It says, "For in due season, in due season, according to His time, <laughs> in due season." Right? We read the scripture. It says mm -hmm. He will give every, every needful thing, thing in, in due season. season. Yep. It says, "For in due season we shall reap if we faint not." Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, we're hoping to reap the 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 uh, the fruits of the spirit, but but uh, to obtain salvation, mm -hmm. right? Ultimately, we want to be saved. We want to be changed into those immortal, glorious bodies. Mm -hmm. But even the little things, right? Yep. Even the little things within our life, man. Whether it's, hey, it's taken forever, and you've been, you, been, you hey, that's my testimony, right? You, there's a time you you living in a hole, man. Like, you, you you whatever you do, no matter how many hours you work, it seems like you just can't get out of hole. <laughs> right. Or somebody put you in a in a in a predicament where it's like, man, I got the law against me, I got this against me, that against me. It's like there's no way out. But that's when the Lord performs His miracles, man. Man, that's, that's when the Lord makes a move on your life sometimes it takes a while but guess what it's your obligation to continue mm -hmm. it's our obligation to continue uh, uh to pray to 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 have that faith okay yep i got some real quick Bob. this Go is ahead. first corinthians 10 and 13 and this man this is a uh what is that emergency emergency uh kit precept mm -hmm. you know uh this is a uh, first corinthians 10 and 13 it says there have no temptation taken you but such as common to man, mm -hmm. but the most high is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may bear, be able to bear it. All right. So there's always a way out of any situation that we're, uh, uh, that we're, uh, in, you know, the Lord is always going to make a way out. It might not seem like there's no way, you know, physically, Hey, but through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shah, there's always a way out. You know, it says, um, mm, yeah. how, how's the word? It says that uh, with man, uh, yeah, with it's, man, it's, it's, it's impossible, impossible, but with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, all things all possible. All things are possible, man. You yeah. know, so that's why we have to trust Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, you know? That's right. Yeah, hey, and just the spirit, I went into that word for, um, uh, Salaki, I went into the word, I'm tripping. <laughs> I went into the word tempted. Okay. In, that, in that in that precept, okay. and it's the Greek word periazo, right? Periazo. It says, I'm gonna read this one. It says to try, to make trial of, to test, for the purpose of ascertaining his quality. Hmm. <laughs> you know, to get to bring that quality out. It says, uh, or what he thinks, how he will behave himself. Um, jump down. It says to try or to test one's faith virtue or character it says by enticement to sin you know but th that that's what it is that's what it is everything is to prove our faith it's mm -hmm. to better us like we said yep. uh, um, a uh, there's that scripture right uh, the lord told told the apostle he says S uh, satan <laughs> satan has desired you that he may have you that he may sift, sift you, you as wheat mm -hmm. when you go into that word sift in that scripture it goes into an inward, uh, inward agitation, agitation of one's mind mm -hmm. to the point of overthrowing one's faith. So now here you have it. You got all this up against you. You stacked up, right? You're bugging out. 
And because you're not continuing in the faith and you're letting yourself be agitated, which agitated is what? A violent shaking, mm -hmm. right? Like, 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 like that scripture said, that wheat, right? That, that, that it may be a, a, a sifted. Well, a sifter, you know, uh, a more commonly that you see now, you put rice in a sifter. You run the water through it, you shake it. So all the impurities fall out. Well, that's, that's what Satan is doing. He's always throwing shit at you here and there to have you all swayed, to have your mind bugged out. You're panicking. You don't know what's going to happen. You got doubt, right? That's that's exactly what what it is. But it says, but uh, but I have prayed for you, you know. So Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has certain men that he prayed for. But the point is, if that if we know what Satan's on, then what should we be on, right? Having having that full covering, man. Mm -hmm. have, putting on that armor. Yep, putting on uh, what it says, the breastplate of uh, faith. Mm -hmm. But you got. Yep, I, I, I think it's no, it's the breastplate of righteousness and the shield of faith. Shield of faith, you know? oh, okay. helmet of salvation. Mm -hmm. Your feet shod with the preparations of the gospel. <laughs> it says that you may quench uh, the fiery darts of the wicked. Oh, yep, yep. Because <laughs> why? Because Satan, as a hungry lion, goeth about seeking whom he may devour. Yep. He's on your ass. Yep. <laughs> He's on our ass. Yep. But hey, <laughs> we gotta be ready. This is Sirach chapter two and verse one. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord Yahweh, prepare thy soul for temptation, set thy heart aright, constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble. You can speak right, right, right. And make not haste in the time of trouble. All right, and that goes back to the topic of this lesson. You know, just being patient. You know, we don't want to make haste because that's what people in the world do. People make uh, people make haste and they make what bad decisions. Mm -hmm. When you make haste, you make bad decisions, and then you you just drown yourself in a in a deeper hole, man. You know, but being patient and uh, 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 and it's just trusting on the Lord, you know, examining yourself, examining, examining the situation, you know, and, and just trusting on the Lord. You know, it keeps you in uh, 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 in perfect peace because this is the this is our comfort. These words are, are, are comforting to us. It says uh, um, it says this is the comfort in my affliction. Right. You know, so just trusting in these words, man, give us the comfort. You know, uh, 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 and not and not even just trusting in the words because it says be uh, uh, doers of the word and not hearers only, mm -hmm. you know, but actually applying the, uh, the precepts. You know, when you when you're feeling some type of way, you, you hit up another brother or you ask brothers uh, uh, for prayers, you know, and, and it just it, it keeps you in a uh, puts you in a different mindset, man. Than, than when you were when you was hastening in that in that time of trouble, man. But you keep reading. Yeah, well, I'm going to grab this real quick. It's uh, Isaiah. Um, there's Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 12 It says I will make a man more precious than fine gold Even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir You know and again going back to the analogy with being in a fire Well we can read in the scriptures how The Lord is likening a sermon unto gold Right That I will try him I sh uh, uh, That the Lord is a refiner mm -hmm. Right It says uh, uh, Let me just grab it Salakia like Like it was. It says, um, okay. Oh man, when I am trying, okay, that's not it. Yup, yup, I knew it. This is Job chapter 23. All right, this is uh, Job chapter 23 and verse uh, 10. No, this one ain't even it. It says, but he knoweth the way that I take when he hath tried me, I shall come forth as gold. Mm -hmm. You know, and the, uh, man, there's another one. Um, is it Isaiah 13 and 12? It says, I will make him more precious. Make him more, uh, man more precious. Oh. I just read that one. Man, and, and the brother you called, hey, I know when he sees this, he gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, I got another one uh, in uh, First Peter. This First Peter 1 and 7, it says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth through, it says, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing, appearing of uh, Yahweh Shah. Read that again, Bible Kashah. Uh, First Peter 1 and 7, it says that the trial of your faith being much more precious right, than the trial of our faith, which mm -hmm. we read that that Sirach too, it says the furnace of adversity. Mm -hmm. So the trying is 
compared to that fire. Yep. Right? So the trying of our faith, go ahead. Yep. It says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Amashiach. Come. No, but uh, man, there, there was one that, and maybe I'm just mixing scriptures, jumbling <laughs> them in my mind, but hey, there's one that says that basically when the Lord tries me, it kind of what that Job said, you know, when he come, when he tries men, uh, he shall come forth as gold. There's another one uh, that says, okay, here's here, here's one, uh, hmm. Isaiah uh, Proverbs twenty five and four, right? It says, take away the dross from the silver, hmm. and there shall come forth a vessel for the finer. Hmm. Okay, you know, be, because to get pure gold. You need to go through that finding process, that refining process, yep. which is what being put in that fire, man. Right. That's how and you become. Oh, it's like I ain't no, even touch off. That's go how. Ahead. Well, that's. I was just gonna make mention. That's how you become purified. You know, the the fire purifies. The, uh, when you what it says, the dross of the silver. Yeah. All right. Because when you purify a, a, sir, a silver, are you t is getting all the the, the residue, the the dross, the impurities. You know. Yeah, yeah. The, the yeah. impurities, right? That's, uh, that's right. You know. So yeah. that's what helps it. That's what helps it shine. Makes that yep. that glow, man. <laughs> and that's that's what makes gold more valuable. You yep. know, for brothers that know about gold, you got different carats, uh, whether it be eight carats, mm -hmm. twelve carats, fourteen carat, eighteen carat gold. Mm -hmm. Well, the difference is that they mix the gold with silver. You know, and that's the different carats that it is. How pure is that gold? So imagine if you're burning down this gold and you're taking away everything that's lead or, or all the silver out of it. It is just pure gold. How much more precious is that, man? You got a 100% pure gold necklace <laughs> opposed to 50% gold and 50% steel or 50% silver, right? That's something more precious, but you, you need that fire, right? Um, Isaiah 1 and 25, I will turn my hand upon thee and, pur and purely purge away thy dross and take away all thy tin, you know? And that's exactly what the Lord is doing, man. He's refining these certain men. If the Lord, hey, that's how the Lord deal with his children. <laughs> okay. It says that the Lord was made perfect through, through, uh, um, through sufferings, right? Mm -hmm. He was perfected through suffering. So it's the same thing with us. Yep. My son, endure, endure the chastening of the Lord. For if the Lord chastised you, he deal with you as children. Uh, but if you be without chastisement, you're bastards, bastards. and not sons. Yep. So here you have it. It's a blessing to go through these things, man. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go back. It's uh, like, man, I'm. I know your, your car got to tell me that precept too. <laughs> it says, uh, Sirach 2 and 2, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste of time of trouble. Nope. Cleave unto him. Depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Again, that gold, right? You don't mm -hmm. just you don't just put that gold in real quick, take it out, and it's good. No, you let That's it sit it. in there. Yeah. And at the end, what happens? At the end, it's increased, right? right? The value of that went up because right. it sat through that fire. And sometimes, hey, sometimes we just gotta sit through the shit, man. Yeah. And, you know, and it hurts, man. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure any brother can Bro. speak, speak for themselves. Like, man, that that fire hurts, man. Yeah. You know, but it's it's, it's needed. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's it's needed to be hurt. Yeah. You know, just and don't be weary, man. Yeah. You know, cause hey, again, personal testimony. Hey, brothers have told me that yeah, hey, I, sometimes you gotta sit there, you just gotta sit through it, man. You gotta you gotta sit and reflect and meditate and. You know this and that, and I would do it, bro. I'm sitting, I'm talking, bro. <laughs> Years, bro. <laughs> sitting there, med man. What the fuck, man? What is going on? Mm. How do I get out of it? What, Lord, are you? What are you trying to teach me? <laughs> what, like, what's okay? Hold on. What am I missing? What am I missing? Right? Yeah. I'm getting frustrated. What am I missing? I'm not seeing something. What? Sometimes it's just what it is, bro. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sometimes again, you just gotta sit there, endure it, mm -hmm. just sit in it, man. The Lord, the Lord is watching. Yep. He's hearing your prayers. He's seeing the shit you're going through. He's seeing the tears coming down from your eyes. The Lord sees that, man. But keep that faith. It says endure unto the end, right? It says constantly endure and make not hasten time of trouble. Sit there. Go through it, man. It doesn't matter how long it takes. <laughs> Just go through it. It mm -hmm. says cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Because at the end, hey, the Lord going to give that recompense. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, no matter what, <laughs> take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Yep. Right? And you wanted that word patient. 
Well, I got that word patient for you. Okay? This is the word patient in the etymology dictionary. It says patient, capable of, and that word capable, you know, for, for anybody that don't know capable, it says uh, to have the ability to, right? Yep. Having the ability, fitness, woo, or quality necessary to do. Yep. And so we have, man. and we are capable. <laughs> Through our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh we are capable. All right? Yeah, man. Because hey, again, hey, if you can grab that precept, it says, uh, uh, try look up try every man uh man um just look up wood hay and stubble oh con con yep bible course yeah hey because that's exactly it man there's people that'll that'll go through if you actually sit and hear different brothers stories what they had to go through different trials tribulations the lord brought them through and like you'll you'll hear and you'll be like damn yeah, like I know if somebody else didn't have the spirit on them, or yeah. somebody in the world was going through that, they would have folded. Through. Yeah, or they would have, bro, they would have killed themselves. Yeah. They would have did this. They would have, they would have bugged out, you know. But it, again, it's like the brother said, it's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai that we're able to go through those things because He has certain men and women, uh, you know, that that He made with the spirit to endure these things, to be able to go through them, man. Mm -hmm. All right, but well, you that the, goes back to that uh, that uh, First Corinthians. You know, uh, 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 that that you should be able to bear it. All right, the Lord is yeah. not going to put too much on to, on you, and but you have to believe that, man. You got you got to actually sit there and believe that, like the Lord is not going to put too much on you to what you to, uh, to where you can't bear. It. All right, yeah, you know? yeah. Niggas in the world say that, right? Uh, hey, Jake, Jake always say that shit. You go through something, hey, well, the Lord give his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers, right? <laughs> hey, you know, you know even, oh, yeah, Jake yeah. saying that shit, but hey, like like the brother Matatia says. Don't let these Christians take away the power that lies within the scriptures. Just because you hear it all the time. But actually, that's a heavy saying, man. That's actually a heavy saying. Because it's absolutely true. Mm -hmm. The men that the Lord deal with, he has them go through adversity, through hell. Hell, man. <laughs> because it betters them, it perfects them, it sets them on a whole different level. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you was talking about a coach earlier before we cut the camera on. A coach will make will discipline you, talk rough to you, make you go through things, yep. make you run suicides, make you do this, that, and the third, and you're like, God damn. You know, you in practice like, man, I don't want to do this. Right. But look at the fruit it produces. Yeah. Now you on the court, you know? You become more disciplined. You, you hitting them threes, whoosh, easy. Mm-hmm. You know? You, you, man, all kinds of shit. Yeah, I <laughs> right? mean. You over there scoring 80 points and shit like Kobe. Yeah. Look, look, look. Or, or even Slocky, or even outside of basketball, like even... With that coaching, that the coach is coaching, you know what I'm saying? It makes you, uh, uh, um, it makes you like more disciplined a, a, in the world. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, well, see, that's exactly the thing, though, because as the scripture says, they do it for 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 a carnal reason, mm -hmm. right? They do it for uh, for fucking trophies and accolades, but we're doing this for salvation to better our lives. Mm -hmm. You know? So how much more profitable is it unto us to apply these precepts? You know? Con, but um this is uh first corinthians chapter three and um i reverse uh, god's building uh, uh verse 11 uh do, 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 read up do. verse 10 i thought it started with uh oh yep yep verse nine yeah 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 Yep. So this is uh first Corinthians three and verse nine. It says, For we are laborers together with, with the Habashim al Shah. Ye are the most high's husband husbandry, ye are the most high's building. Mm -hmm. According to the grace of the most high which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another and another buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed how he build it. Uh, right, so build. Yeah, making sure that we live in according to the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. When we teach, making sure that that what we teach is on point. Making sure that they uh, that we're walking according to the word, as it says. If any man say that he abideth in him, must also walk as he walked, man. All right. Yep. It says for for other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Yahweh Shai. Now, if any man build upon this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest for the day shall declare it because it shall be re revealed by fire mm. and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide, which he hath built there uh, thereupon, he shall receive a reward. 
If any man's work shall be burnt, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. You want me to keep reading? Oh, uh, you can break it down. Oh, con. All right, so, hey, uh, so, so that fire, man, all right? Every man's work is going to be revealed by that fire, man. And that's those trials, those tribulations, you know, that we, uh, that was hardships that we go through, man, you know, but it says what in that, uh, 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 that Sirach too, it says what, um, uh, it's like, I'm thinking about the other precepts that we was reading earlier, but it says for gold is tried in the fire and, um, an acceptable, uh, man, the man in the furnace of adversity, yeah. right? So All is right. that a, a trial of a man? Is it his in his reasoning? reasoning? Yep, yep, yep. That's yep. another one. Yeah. So, so we have to go through that fire in, in, in order to be tried. You know, to come out as precious stones and, and, and gold. Con, will you grab uh Second Timothy two and twenty, Bible Kusha. That's the one I wanted you to grab. Con, this but is hey, it's, it's all good, you know. <laughs> Con, this is Second Timothy chapter two and uh, verse twenty. It says, "But in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver." But also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. Right. So here you have it. You got certain certain things in your house that's that's made for honor and some to dishonor. Some a, a, out of the same clay, uh, a potter can make um, a, a pot for a plant. Right. A beautiful two thousand five hundred dollar pot. Right. It got gold in it and shit. Right. Mm -hmm. It's all beautiful. Got artwork. Mm -hmm. It's formed beautifully. You know. And you 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 know you use it as decoration and it's it's a what do they call it? like a talking piece right, so that's that to say that's something on the honor but yeah out of that same clay or whatever he made a, a place to eat off of he made a toilet to to go shit in you know so on and so forth, and uh, in a great house hey well we're abiding within the house of the Lord so using this uh, uh, spiritually here you have it a hey, uh, we all we all a part of the Lord's house man you know Lord, uh, and again Lord willing we be a part of that number. Right. But it, it's you got we have to examine ourselves and see what kind of men we are, you know, but you can go ahead. Con. Um, let me see. I got verse another 21. one. Oh, you, oh, you want me to keep yeah, reading? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, Verse 21. It says, if a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use and prepared unto every good work. Mm hmm. So there you have it, that we got to purge ourselves from certain things in this world. From yep. a, uh, uh, The scriptures talk about superfluity. Yep. Super, what's superfluity? It says that the excess of flesh, right, basically uh, uh, left over after Before, one's, uh, yep. yeah, that were left prior Prior to from yeah, <laughs> one, you know, I can before grab it real ones, quick. Ones, ones, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I can grab it. It's like <laughs> it's basically remains of the nigga that you was in the world. Yeah, after you come into the truth. <laughs> to put it in layman's terms, right? Con. Uh, I grab it real quick. This is a. Uh, I I read it real quick. This is James one and twenty one. It says, "Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive the meekness of uh, the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls." Mm -hmm. All right. So for that word superfluity, it says. Um, it says Re residue remains. The wickedness remaining over in a Christian from his state prior to conversion. Right. So <laughs> exactly that. The, the the certain fleshly things that are still within us that come back. That's that old man. man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that old man. Yep. So it's constantly, constantly, constantly checking those things and being being on our own ass so that we could be those vessels meet for the master's use prepared unto every good work. Mm -hmm. You know, because you don't want to be a vessel that's to dishonor, man. Yeah. What the hell? What is that gonna do for the Lord? You know, like what, what, what purpose? Yeah, it's yeah. Like, what purpose are you, man? No, right. you. We want to be vessels that are that are for for honor, for glory. What towards says, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man, yep. not for ourselves. Yep. It says what well, it says uh, for the master's use. All right. So we wanna we wanna be those vessels uh, 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 for the uh, for the master's use, man. You know. Yep. Kind. I'll go back to the Sirach. Sirach two. And in verse four, it says, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. For gold is tried in the fire, an acceptable man in a furnace of adversity. Believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. That's right, man. Patience. Patience, <laughs> yeah. Order thy way aright and trust in him, you know, because I mean, uh, what else, I mean, what else are we going to do? <laughs> you know, we, we, we can't trust in our, in our own selves. You know, mm -hmm. hey, I'm, I'm gonna jump down. 
says uh, the Sirach 2 and 13. Woe unto him that is faint hearted, mm -hmm. for he believeth not. You don't have faith. It says, therefore, he shall not be defended. <laughs> Woe unto yeah. you that have lost patience. Mm -hmm. You're getting tired of suffering. You, right. You're done suffering. You're sick. You want to go back to the world. Right? That's, that's, that's uh, uh, the niggas we was talking about, right? They said, hey, when we was baking cakes to the queen of heaven, we were good. We wasn't suffering. <laughs> we had things plenty of this. Man, we were straight. All right. But as soon as we came to serve the Lord, Yahweh, now we in need of all things. We lacking. We destitute, you know. Complaining, man, because they got tired of suffering. Yep. But see, that's that's the thing. This is the condition of, of the, the battle, battle man. Yep. It is necessary that we must go through this. And this Israel's portion. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, actually, I had one. It was a uh, well. Even then, it says uh, that we're not even. It says that um, we're not um. Uh, how's it worded? It's like it. Punish it was, less. Yeah, punish less than uh, than our iniquity just, uh, uh deserve. I'm roughly paraphrasing it, sir. You know, so I mean, anything that we're, that we're dealing with is is something light anyway. You know, because we deserve death. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, but you got it though. Con, this is uh Micah chapter seven, and I'm gonna start at verse seven. Okay. Oh, man. Therefore, I will look unto the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. <laughs> That's the confidence that we have, man. That's what our faith. That the Lord will hear us, man. You know, the Lord seeing this. <laughs> I'm not alone. Rejoice not against me, O mine enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahushai shall be a light unto me. <laughs> Woo! Man, hey, cause because he's always there, man. He's in the midst. He's mm -hmm. always there. Yep. So in our lowest and our darkest times, we can see that light. We can see how the Lord dealing, man. Mm -hmm. We can see how he's with us, how he's moving, how he's... Hey, he'll show you. Yep. Ask him. Yep. Lord, allow me to see you, Baba Kusha. Show me that you're still with me. I, bro, if you walking right and, and you got a spirit on, I bet your ass the Lord will show you, man. Mm -hmm. He going to show you. <laughs> it says rejoice. Uh, so like in verse 9. I will bear the indignation of the Lord Yahweh because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light. I shall behold his righteousness. You know, and that's exactly it. At the end of the day, we all going through things that we worthy to go through, man. Nope. You know, who, who, who the hell are we? <laughs> all right. Hey, uh, man, that's pretty much it. I had another one, but I can't remember it. So that's all I had. Con. I mean, that's that's pretty much the point, man. Just having having that patience and just trusting in Yahweh Shimei Shah. All right, because he like like the precept, the first precept that we read. You know, he will give every yeah. needful thing in due season, man. Yep. You know, hath anybody ever trusted in the Lord and was confounded? No. Yep. Abiding him was forsaken. All right. <laughs> no. All right. Yeah. Hey, so that's it, man. So Lord's willing, this video is edifying. We want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rechakwadash. All right, double honest to our elders and the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Titus is shooting on down. Peace and blessings to your brothers and to your Akim. That's not the question, it's truth. All right, until next time, Shalom. Shalom.